two hours total. Nine minutes this run. And every now and then, I'll kick the eco mode off. That'll run 15, 30 seconds. Eco mode's pretty cool when you have a low load situation. 10 minutes this time. What I did, I ran it. This is going to be the second oil change. I ran 15 minutes yesterday, ran 30 minutes this morning, then another 15. This is going to be another 15 for a total of an hour and 15 minutes on the oil. When you buy the Predator 3500, there'll be no oil in the crankcase. I went ahead and decided to go with Castrol GTX 10W30. I went for the first one. I'm going to use Castrol GTX 10W30 for the second oil change and possibly the third oil change. But when it all settles down, I feel like it's broken in and I feel like most of the metal has gotten washed out of the crankcase. I'm going to go with AMS oil, small engine oil, 10W30. On the first oil change, I was really surprised at how much metal was in the oil. When you look at it on the dipstick, it looked fairly clean, almost brand new. It had one hour and 15 minutes on it according to the timer. So this second oil change, I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and drain it. Uh, we've got another hour and 15 minutes on the generator. It's going to be its second oil change. And I got some really tight knit black fabric. We're going to filter it through it and then take a look at the metal under a digital microscope that runs it up to as high as 250 times. I think it ought to be interesting. This is where I just cut off the bottom of a gallon jug. When it's set on two befores, which is just an inch and a half, and then you had some other height, this goes under here. It's no more than two and a half inches at its highest point. I'm using a 10 millimeter six point. It's a good tight fit on the old drain plug. It's located right underneath the dipstick. I'll get it flowing here and then pop the camera off and put the light on it. It's kind of neat the way they, the designers have fixed the oil plug. You got this little rubber boot here that's fabricated and the oil hits that. Then you have this nice cutout for it to run out of. And then on the bottom you have a rubber flap that hinges up from the other side that latches up into the floor plate. And you just pull it out. It's on a, a rubber flexible tab. It's going to be very hard to get the angle just right where you can see the metal. I can see a few flakes coming out. We're going to filter it out and look at the metal content through a 250x digital microscope drip plate. Yeah, I can see a real fine metal flake every now and then. changing the angle on it so you can see the metal. I've just seen some there. I'm hoping it shows up for you guys. Oh yeah. Yeah, we've got metal. Total run time on the engine should be about two and a half hours. It shows two hours, but this hour meter on the total time does not run in tenths or doesn't run in any fractional increments. It's, e it's either, it's whole hours, one, two, three, and so forth. Okay, just a word on the drain plug. It's a nice looking drain plug. Plenty of deep threads, looks like slightly over a half inch. As I said, 10 millimeter, six point. But the gasket is a nice solid aluminum with thick gasket on it that will not just flop off. You're gonna to have to unscrew it off like that. So that's a pretty good deal. I've seen chintzier drain plugs. Let's put it that way. I like this one. I'm going to use this black fabric my wife said it's a high knit count. It should act like a pretty good filter. Shows up every little piece of lint, so I think it's going to work pretty good. I don't know how good it's going to flow. Very slowly, I think. If you take a bright flashlight, there's no sun out today, it's real cloudy. And get that light just right. I can see a lot of metal in this, but if I had to put a percentage on this compared to the first oil change, it might be half as much or a third as much. And if I had it to do over, I would not have ran a full hour and 15 minutes on that first oil change. I would have ran 30 minutes. Oil is cheap. 
Don't go with the synthetic on a break-in. You want to go with a good mineral oil like the Castrol GTX. Don't go with synthetic. Synthetic is so good it can take it a long time to break in. Breaking in, I mean the hash marks from the machining marks and the honing marks getting all worn in properly can take a lot longer with synthetic oil. That's been proven. I wish I would have filmed and filtered the very first oil change at one hour and 15 minutes. I can't imagine running that engine on that oil for 10 solid hours. But also something interesting in the owner's manual is they're recommending do not exceed 75% load until you hit 30 hours on the machine. But I'm gonna follow that one to the T. I'm gonna try to get 30 hours on it before I hit 75% load. Okay, I'm gonna stop filming this, but the idea is I'm gonna get rid of all that oil through this through this filter. Get an idea how much metal's in it. Put a drain plug in it. This funnel is kind of special. It came with the generator. Put it all the way in and angle it up. It's got a slight angle to run down in there. It'll take all this. I've got a little over half. Should be about 20 ounces, 18, something like that. The oil feels very simple. You fill it right to the top. It's all going to come out with the oil. I don't see any hanging back on the, looking at the white plastic on the reflections. Okay, we'll let that drain. Let me get you closer. Not wanting to focus. I think that oil is throwing it off or something. Let me see. Okay. Maybe. The reflection from that oil, I think, was throwing that auto focus off. That's interesting. Okay, let's get the camera closer and take a look. From what I'm seeing, this does not mirror what we've seen in the actual oil itself. That tells me a lot of the small particles did filter down through the threads and into the oil. We'll take the uh, black fabric off and see if we can see any in the oil itself. Well, it's hard to believe, but it looks like a lot of metal filtered through this fabric. I would not have thought that, but it just gives you an indication of just how small these metal particles are. It's clearly got lots of metal in that oil. I see thousands of sparklers in there. I don't know how good that's showing up, but those are just tiny specks. And this is the second oil change. The first was horrible. My advice is to run it for 30 minutes and change it and do that again, probably about four or five times.